Alright everyone, so I said I would be doing two videos and um firstly let me just open this little pyroptor thing there Jiggy. But um yeah and two videos and then I'll stop again until there's another JWA update I guess or maybe just called the game. And then I'm officially back November seventh to eighth. That is when videos should like be <laughs> gonna go on the wall. But um, yeah, that's when they should be back. But yeah, as you can see, Jurassic World Alive, which one do I go for? Because this is so chaotic. Um, as you can see, Leanne or Patricia, um, one of those people, it was a glitch, it wouldn't show me the proper name, put Morris and Trevitus in a sanctuary. How may you ask? Apparently Ludia put uh, Morris and Trevitus in the 24-hour epic PvP incubators. They've now removed it, but luckily... Um, one of the teammates I mentioned managed to get it, so now I've bought some things, and I have it, so when I said they were gatekeeping it, you know, life found a way, and now I have it, so I think I'm the first one to properly make a full video on it, I've seen others, uh, make videos on Phylos and Trevor's from the beta footage, but hey, finally I'm first to something in this game, like I used to be all those years ago, um, so on the side, you can see, oh, actually, on the left, on the left, the Jurassic World Alive Raid T-Rex. We've got all the new creatures in. We've got Overruptor Gen 2, um, played by Big Bang Science. They went and FIP'd in the Sanctuary just to get that for this raid. Thank you so much. Then we have Sasha with the red Atrociraptor. And then up next, we have Ben 01 with the Quetzal Quatlas Gen 2, just to perfect it. All four new epics from this update. And then we have... My cute little Morris and Trevor's trio. Um, and off to the right, we also have the Morris and Trevor's trio, which is so awesome. I have the three out of four of the Morris and Trevor's toys, but the fourth is not released yet. It is a mini one that will be released in Wave 3. It will have the same color pattern as the one that's on screen now, the black one, which is super cool because that's the movie Accurate Colors, which is the one on the left, you can kind of compare, it's not super black, the one on the left, that's in the T-Rex raid, it's in Jurassic World Alive, but hey, I mean, it's kind of the closest we're getting, uh, then over there, <laughs> we have Giga against Morris, because we know, those two are buddies, they're cute together, they're meant for each other, um, as best, besties, best friends, let's see if we can get the Morris to chomp at the Giga, um, the little food in between its teeth, um, I'm not sure if we will, this is going to be a bit tricky, but okay, either way, um, yeah, so what on earth made me decide to double up the content, a Metal and a Jurassic World Alive video all in one, huh, well, my audience is kind of split, split, you either like gaming or you like the toys, Oh, you like the movies. Everyone likes the movies. But there's a split group that goes into the toys or into the games. So I figured, let's see if we can make a video on both and combine the audiences once again. And we'll see what happens. There's probably going to be nothing. Like, But hey, my thumbnail will be comparing. Because you could do a augmented reality with Jurassic World Life. Stay to the end of the video. We're going to be doing that. We're going to compare the three Jurassic World Alive Morris Intrepidus to my three Mattel Morris Intrepidus, which is going to be so awesome. So, I hope Ludie's not going to be mad at me that I have Morris Intrepidus, because technically I didn't get it through a glitch, and they're the ones who put in the system like that, and if you're opening an epic 24 hour incubator, it's not really your fault for getting the Morris Intrepidus, technically, you just got extremely lucky. Um, and I got through a sanctuary, which is kind of just normally how you get creatures, so it's not really doing anything bad. Um, but yeah, I know they're probably like normally watching videos, like they'll see my Jurassic World Live ones or Jurassic World Game ones. So yeah, that's how I got the Morrison Trappers. No, wait, wait, no other way, I promise. I do not support any other way of creating them. Um, yeah, also speaking of if Lydia is watching my videos, you can see uh, I have the time on the top left of like, on the top of my Jurassic World Live screen, 
in my notifications. I don't know how to get rid of that. That just appeared after the latest update. It's just covering the T-Rex boss's health, so... Um, hopefully that can be fixed soon, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I assume you changed the resolution of the game, so hopefully that can be changed back to what it was. I don't know if it's my phone, because I have an S10, which is a much wider or longer screen um, compared to the 16 by 9 normal ratio. But yeah, um, this is just an interesting video. So what round are we on on the T-Rex? We're on round two. So <laughs> yeah, we brought in Demon Duck because uh, well, who's from my alliance as well with Sasha, who's also from Australia, one of the best places to live. Not promoting anything, but still. Um, yeah, because we, you, you can see Sasha changed to Ghost. So yeah, we've got two Atrociraptors in this raid, and then we've got Panthera to your right. How cool is that? But um, <laughs> still missing Tiger. Uh, Natal, where is it? Um, but yeah, what happened was the T-Rex raid kept killing us. I know that one of the easiest raids when we use all four of the new creatures. You basically need them level 15 if you want to guarantee a win against the T-Rex, because otherwise it just slaughters you. So what we did was we brought in Ghost, who can also distract, so that was three distractions. Oviraptor could distract, uh, Red could distract, and so could Ghost. Morris and Trepus is a fierce, because it is related to Tyrannosaurus, so that's kind of fair. Or it is like a mini Tyrannosaurus, so it's, it's fair that it's meant to be fierce. Similar to, uh, Lysiosaurus is resilient, I believe. What the hell is? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one or the other. But hey, like I said, here are the Morris Intrepiduses from Jurassic World Life combined with, uh, Mattel's Morris Intrepiduses. We have the uncaged green and orange one, then the normal orange and green one, and then the movie accurate color scheme one. It's definitely my favorite. It looks like it's kind of meant to be a bad guy. Paint a villain, almost. Um, the red and black, I don't think any of the dress world toys I own. Besides like Pyroptor, which is super uh, red. It's, it's the white and red on it. It's just, it looks so cool. So it's 100% my favorite. I can't wait to get the mini of it. 100% getting that. And then we'll have a fully completed Morris and Trevor's family. But yeah, right now we've got a mother and a father and a baby, technically, because they're two different skin variants. But anyway, that'll have to be about it for the video. I'll see you in a month's time, whenever. I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.